time to input the code. What are you doing? Hey, stop the cheating. Code. Stop cheating. Hey. The code. Gibbiskers. Great. Because, uh, his room. Great Britain has super real stupid prime ministers? How about what if contest? Oh, okay, that sounds better. This gives you the option to play through the entire campaign again, and there are minor and major changes throughout the entire campaign. And that's what we're going to look at. We're going to fly through the campaign one more time as fast as possible, only showing off the differences. They made a second quest? Essentially, yeah. Same game, same outcome, but some things are different. Like, this is now has the Neversoft logo on it. Not logo, the, the name Neversoft is on this side of this building. Uh. So you got small things like that, but you also have bigger things. I'm already at full health. They actually don't properly kick in until we finish this opening tutorial area, so we're going to do that real quick. Why is everything all rainbowy? Uh, Because that's how the game was. That's spider sense, baby. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, why don't I remember it? That's how it used to be. Well, because this has been scattered between like three months. <laughs> that's my fault. I don't remember it being that, that rainbowy, though. Well, that's on me, I guess. Every cutscene is the same, but now we have this. I am the Watcher. You already know the outcome of Spider-Man's battle with Dr. Octopus, Carnage, and the symbiotes. But what if... But if this time, in this time's dream, some of the events unfolded differently. Some of the differences are grand, some minute. Those of you alert enough may notice some of the differences yourself. Like what if you had a silly hat? Thanks, Watcher. AKA, no joke, Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> he voiced the Watcher. Those are his only lines. So let's get into the different stuff. This entire campaign, the comic books have scattered. They're all in new locations. I'm not going to show you where those are because we already got them all. Sorry we can't help you, Spidey, but we're taking care of Mole Man. If you do need help, meet me at the usual spot later. Apparently the Fantastic Four had an enemy called Mole Man, and Human Torch is taking care of him. That's why they're not here. Oh, is he like half human, half mole? Oh, no, he's got a terrible skin condition. Behold the Underminer! And behold the many skin tags on my neck! <laughs> Turns out we're just fighting John Ratzenberger. So anyway, where that hostage came out, you can come onto the dance floor because now we can get some dancing in here. Now that's way rainbowy. That was not, a, I'm not crazy there. That wasn't man, even man, there. Get down, Spidey, Jesus. I think my favorite part is all of Spidey's dance moves are him getting hurt. Those are his damage animations. Not this, however. This is just brand new. Like how everyone's running and running around screaming as he's doing all Woo! this. Woo! Go Spider-Man! Yeah! <sighs> Any anybody see? Am I cool? Oh, yeah. Big safe. Somebody's tagged the inside of this. Hans was here. Hans Mole Man was here. <laughs> Damn it! Again! I kind of like that better because I don't know who the hell Hans is. I'm sure some of my comic book guys. Yeah, in the uh, in the comment section will let me know who Hans is. Uh oh, Spidey. Scorpion's headed out for old James. I want to see if you can see the person who was added to this cutscene. Oh, there he goes. Scorpion suit. Spidey had been That's Ghost Rider's cameo for this game. End up in the obituaries of his own. It's just it's just funny. It's it's like a drive-by, a literal drive-by. Oh, there he goes. Where is he? There he is. One of those idiotic, uh, you know, who'd, who'd win in a fight between this power-scaled anime character and this power-scaled character, you know? So, it's it's Goku and Vegeta versus the entirety of Marvel. Like, you know, who wins, right? <laughs> you know, of course, Goku, you know, kills everybody. He's like, all right, yeah, we won. Yeah, good job, Vegeta. But, you know, Vegeta, because he fought Ghost Rider. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's, Dead it's, immediately. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Scorpion and JJJ are playing Marco Polo, except uh, Peter Parker knows the third option, Fish Out of Water. If you input the cheat code ruler, JJJ is replaced with James Jewett, the Neversoft guy. So now it's like you're protecting the uh, president of Neversoft. <laughs> oh no, please. Which is actually kind of funny. Uh, you're also going to notice that the Neversoft guys, big movie fans. So what if is chock full of movie references like... Here's Johnny! 
that's just... Cool. It's stuff like that. You're also going to notice I'm going to be wearing the invincible suit because screw some of this stuff. Oh, hey, that wasn't there before. <laughs> I wonder what happens when you go over to the blimp. That'd be kind of neat. Oh, it does. So oh, it's a separate level. Oh, it's interesting. Oh. <laughs> blimp versus helicopter goes. Who will win? Oh, there goes Silver Surfer. There's his cameo for this game. Hi, nice. Spider-Man. Hi, Spider-Man. Spider 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 so, uh, this is actually hilarious. If you don't have the invincible suit, you are literally dodging helicopter fire, and he's just going crazy up there in the air. You are waiting on this blimp until it is dealt enough damage to deflate to get to the next level. That's what you're waiting on. Spy, why don't you try getting underneath the blimp? Well, then the blimp would deflate and fall on him. That'd be crazy. Well, you know that because you're spidey sense. You can just jump back on top yeah, when that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, underneath, I think the helicopter might have a hard time trying to shoot at you. So, you know. I do find it funny. This one particular helicopter goes, fuck blimps, and then just goes crazy shooting this thing. You see, I can't play this game anymore because I'm too used to the, to the PS4 Spider-Man. I'm so used to just hit L2 and R2, jump right to the helicopter, and yep. go, what's going on here? And then just, you know, just web, web the, 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 the rotors, and then set it down gently, and it's like, all right. And there we go, we made it to the next section. If you say so, it looked like you fell to your death. Nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We, we made it to the part where the police are just blowing up a building, you know, that's fine. I like how it says keep out on the side of it where no one can see it except for you driving from the highway. See, I thought it was funny that they were blowing up a building. This is an abandoned building, so maybe that's why they're blowing it up. Spider-Man has a couple things to say about the uh, advertisements on the side of the building, such as, I wonder if all of Wolverine's bones are adamantium. Yeah, like his knee. I'm in a... <laughs> That's really annoying, guys. Real big uh, finger quotes on the uh, right of the Valkyries there, if you want to uh, call it that. Close enough, I guess. I guess they really like Apocalypse Now. And then there's another one. I think Apocalypse Now also had a right of the Valkyries thing. So great. The horror. The horror. <laughs> Next one, we're actually going to Rhino stage, and it's really funny to have him try to attack me when I can't take damage, but the only change is, instead of Omnitech, it's now Neversoft. <laughs> I knew they were behind all this! I, I did know they were behind all this. So it, it, it's at the beginning of the game. Yeah, suck it, Rhino. You can't hurt me. Please. He just goes, Aah! Wait, what? This is my favorite change. Welcome to 12-Hour Fitness, where fitness is our specialty. We're now at a fitness spa. One and and one and uh, Hey, that's the ladies' locker room, Venom. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This is a private spa. Uh. Lady, put a towel on. It's got some class. Hey, <laughs> my, my eyes are closed. So does Spider-Man. Hey, nice bicep. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you see, they like me better, Parker. <laughs> <laughs> The first two episodes finally released of this series, as we're talking over this one, and people are blowing me away with the amount of knowledge I didn't know. Like Venom's voice actor being, I think, Cosmo from Fairly Odd Parents. It's Darren Norris. Yeah, it's it's hysterical. It's hysterical to hear that. Peter Parker now finds it ticklish when Venom licks him. That's great. Okay, wait, wait, do it again, do it again. Where are you looking at, man? It's all over. You know what that symbiote tongue can do? That's right, anything. Did you have spider sense? I have a different kind of sense. <laughs> Pay attention to this change. It's very subtle. I wonder if you can catch it. It's a rainbow again. Uh. <laughs> lizard didn't house train his lizard bed. They're just shitting everywhere. Do I have to? I mean, they come from me. <laughs> Venom has an equation for us here on the train. Okay. Okay. I guess it's more a question than an equation. Put on the invincible suit and cheese the whole thing out! Exactly! 
or the in invisible suit like I have here and just uh, ride the train for free. Pop quiz, hot shot. What are you do? Uh, 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 uh. What do we have here? Oh, well, gee, Peter, I wonder if there's something in the water. <laughs> like a little giant rubber ducky. Hey, <laughs> okay. it's a plastic, plastic duck. Yeah. I do like this, though. Let's, let's drain the water, see what happens to the duck. Oh, no, no, no. No! 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 <laughs> Rubber ducky, no! Is that going to be his, uh, his Man of Steel moment? <laughs> Pretty much. Rubber duck comes back as Rubber Duckman or something like that and tries to defeat Spider-Man. This one actually has a voice line attached to it. I'm going to let Spider-Man speak. Original. All of the sewer water became hot lava. <laughs> Seems Bowser took over. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. I want Spider-Man killed, so I called a professional from out of town. <laughs> so it turns out I was wrong during the LP. You can get the directions again from Lizard if you go back and talk to him. It won't be in cutscene form. You will have to pay close attention to what he says. But in one if mode, eventually he gets sick of your garbage after we're done, you know, talking about how to solve the puzzle. I think this guy's also D. Bradley Baker, which, as versatile as he is, he just plays the weird creature people. So what I would do is I would just, you know, after like the fifth time he goes, Oh, for the love of blah, and he melts out the fence. I'll just go and come with you. Here, come, follow me. And grabs your hand and you have to walk for like two minutes. Oh, lizard. Listen, dude. I'm not telling you again. So yeah, he finally just says, all right, I'm not telling you again. So what do you say, Spunky? Let's finish this. <laughs> all right, this one's pretty funny. Stop the water, but but what if I, what if I just... The switch, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> you just get yelled at more. Ah, oh, man. Life, death, life, death, life, death, life, death, life, death. The switch, the switch, the switch. <laughs> Just constantly berating you. The switch, you idiot. Turn off the switch. Oh, but I'm playing Mario Odyssey. Game over, man. Game over. That was an alien reference. Mm-hmm. Kill me. Please kill me. Oh, make it two. Two for the price of one hostage. Fantastic. How about get away from her, you bitch? That'd be pretty cool. For whatever reason, Peter just decides, you know, what about a Matrix reference? A symbiote generator. So this is how the symbiotes are... So you remember how I said there was an instant death in here? You go into the printing press and then Spider-Man is just fucking dead? Yeah. Uh, well, it turns out in what-if mode, they added an extra graphic to that death. So just, you know... Go! Oh. Ah! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my, my god. god. Jesus. <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it. Spider-Man fucking splattered all over the Daily News. I wanted pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> but not like this. <laughs> More Matrix. More Matrix. That's all we got, man. So More they, Matrix. They got movie references or the same 12 movie references that everyone was doing around this time? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very much yes. And the one who stole the technology. This one's really funny. Mysterio has a fish in his bowl! <laughs> Very funny, guys, all right. Who put this in here? Who, who's the wise guy who put a fish in my tank? Come on. How do you feed that thing? <laughs> opens up his shoulder and, you know, Ooh. there's a couple of fish flakes in there. Oh my. They kind of just, you know, from the bottom. Is this the Ark of the Covenant? Oh. Oh. Literally just the Ark of the Covenant, just right here. I get it! We'll melt Mysterio's face! Wait! Fuck! <laughs> Quentin Beck is not allowed to see the face of God, nor is anybody else, because you can't open the Ark. So it's, it's just here. And it is actually fun to hear a voice line of, is this the Ark of the Covenant? It's like, that's a thing in your universe? Okay. That's fine, whatever. Another thing that is actually in this room, it'll take me a couple seconds to actually find it. 
but Marvel Comics used to have a no prize. So this envelope contains a, 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 genuine, a genuine Marvel one. Comics no prize. What the hell is a no prize? I think it's just one of those, hey, you didn't win, but here you go, a genuine Marvel Comics no prize. So this is going to be a true test of my ability to hear without proper I subtitles. I actually had to turn the game's audio off, voices only, to hear all this. You've got to be kidding. Ahoy there, web slinger. Captain Jennings speaking. I designed this way. That's right, I built it. And now I want you to read me through it. So here's the skinny. If you can speak to friend, I'll tell you a secret. Deal? Ready when you are. You all of a sudden have a race against the Yellow Submarine. We all live in the Yellow Submarine. Let's rock! Because it's, it's, it's the Beatles, right? I think it's either that or, you know, 90s, dude. No, no. Oh, sorry, 2000s, dude. No, Yellow Submarine is a movie the Beatles were in in the 60s. And that is what they were referencing. That was the song. Also, every time Spider-Man goes into a new transition, he compliments the flooring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, is is this uh, is this cool? They worked hard to get these 3D uh, models and levels. I mean, someone's got to compliment them, right? Exactly, exactly. I just think it's funny because in the regular game, he's just like, "Wow, who does the the electricity for this?" And then he's just talking about the floor. It's like, okay. You do have kind of a strict time limit for this race. It actually is a legitimate race. He's not like stopping in between transitions. And if you make it to the end, Strudel. This is how you get one of the cheat codes. Huh. Legitimately, instead of just, you know, looking on the internet. Internet? Mm hmm. Oh. All right, let's go save Black Cat. We're almost at the end of the game again. And what could have changed with her storyline? Well, we have a winner. Spider-Man, I'm so happy to see you. Black Cat, what are you doing? Who's behind this? Why, why are you dancing? Is she, You're like, pawing at the... <laughs> what is she doing? Because the next thing I knew, I woke up here, and I can't stop dancing. You've got to get me out of here. Oh no, the can't stop dancing drug. They had a voice line for <laughs> Yes, <It's> ridiculous. <laughs> stop dancing. You got it, cat. I just can't stop dancing, Peter. Help. <laughs> That's just one of those funny things. It's like, hey, who's got an idea for what to do for Black Cat? What can't stop dancing? I make sure. <laughs> okay, guys, what should we do for Black Cat? And then 35 suggestions later. Okay, the cleanest one is just have her dancing. Just dancing. Yes, in her. Okay, just the mask we're taking off. That's it. Just dancing. No pole! And then Black Cat can stop dancing. Like a banana in a tailpipe. Giant bananas because Peter Parker made a joke about a banana in a tailpipe. This one is the biggest change by far! Ex Whoa, what is this? A miniature Doc Ock in a psychedelic kill room. What? <laughs> this is so 90s PlayStation, it hurts. Holy crap, this oh, is awesome! What the? What on earth? Mini Ock also has like a, a minified voice. He's like, I am Mini Ock! <laughs> and then he goes back to his normal voice, unfortunately. See, this is the stuff I would have expected throughout the entire game, but I'm glad, you know, pushing towards the finale, we're getting stuff like this, because this is just ridiculous, but I love it. One more should do it. I also want to see if I can beat Miniok in one go, because this suit does give me double damage. It's giving my eyes double damage. That's it. Yeah, I had to look away a little bit. All right, here we go. It, it, Good. It, it's it's just vomiting colors here. Yep. Ah, oh, so close. All right. Well, we're not going to stay for the entire fight. Thank God. So there is a giant shark now swimming in the arena for Carnage, and there's also a cameo outside the window. But also, they replaced Carnage's voice lines with children. <laughs> That's got to be one of the devs' kids or something. Definitely. So there's your cameo. Venom mentioned Submariner once, 
And so they added Submariner as a secret little cameo in What If mode outside uh, Carnage's arena. It's Aqua Submariner, yeah. Submariner is so Aquaman, it actually hurts. I have never heard of Submariner, but looking at his bio, which we'll look at after this, because he actually shows up in the bios if you look at him, he's Aquaman. Marvel's Aquaman. Yeah. As if they needed one? They don't. That's why he's down here. I guess. If you take a look at Submariner, he actually shows up if you look at him long enough. Parker's alter ego, the amazing Spider-Man. Oh! oh. Hmm. Are you sure it's not just some guy in a speedo with the, with the trident? He's the Prince of Atlantis! And mankind's defender and its greatest foe? Wow. They made fun of my speedo. I will not let them live. That's everything. That is everything. I know a lot of people have been mentioning a lot that there are other versions of this game, but they came after this. The main reason I talked about PlayStation and N64 is because they came out around the same time and they're the ones I grew up with. That's all for Spider-Man. That's all I got for you. Well, all right. I am actually looking through my brain to give a hint on what's next. The thing is, I don't know what's coming next because it could be anything. It could be anything, huh? It could be anything.